Well, the morning to you. It's uh, the latest petrol and diesel prices from Gilnerhurk, Belfast. <coughs> and this is Thursday the 15th of December and it's about 12 o'clock on a Baltic. So they're gradually coming down, but there's no reason why they should have been up in the first place. This was not to do with any war or anything else. This was to do with extortion and government-backed extortion as that. Here's a recent um, article in the Daily Express all about our petrol situation and our diesel situation. No justification. Prices of petrol and diesel should fall by at least 10 pence. And this is a story by Chris uh, Bertine and it was out on Wednesday that's yesterday no that's two days ago and here's what it says major fuel uh, retailers are facing even more pressure as the price of oil has dipped uh, below $80 uh, for that's $80 a barrel I presume for the first time since the start of the year the REAC is claiming that motorists across UK should see a drop in prices by at least 10 pence per litre. REAC fuel spokesman Simon Williams said there is yet more pressure on the biggest fuel retailers today to pass on savings to drivers as the price of oil dipped below $80 per barrel for the first time since the start of the year causing the wholesale cost of petrol to tumble to, tumble to uh, 105 pence per litre and 119 pence um, per litre uh, of diesel. If a cut of at least 10 uh, p a litre doesn't come soon, it will be yet more evidence of rocket and feather pricing for the competition and market authorities to take note of. I mean, what have the, the, the competition and markets authority been doing? Oh, we're taking note. The disparity between average pump prices at 158 pence uh, for petrol and 182 for diesel, and remember this was Wednesday, and their wholesale equivalence is truly shocking. Now, our diesel and petrol is lower than that. Um, even taking into account major re retailers' uh, buying circles, uh, we can see no justification for them not cutting their prices significantly. Mr. Williams said that this failure to reflect falling wholesale costs over multiple weeks at the pumps is totally unreasonable. It's scandalous. It's more than unreasonable. Whenever you have smaller independent forecourts charging far less than the big four supermarkets, and we all know who they are, oh, every little bit helps. Oh, well, but we'll just uh, steal money off you uh, via, via our pump prices, um, which buy far larger quantities of fuel on a far more frequent uh, basis. It has to be a cause of major concern. It's been a cause of major concern for the last months, year. Something badly needs to change to give drivers a fair deal at the pumps and everyone uh, will be looking to the CMA to insti instigate this. Why have they not instigated that already? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. It goes on. While our da data shows uh, there were clearly issues with rocket and feather pricing over the pandemic, the situation is 10 times worse today. 10 times worse. What's more, it really isn't the case that uh, volatility, vol volatility brought about by the war in Ukraine is to blame for what's happening now as wholesale prices are now so much lower than they were nine weeks ago. On top of that, Despite the average price of petrol and diesel falling by six pence a litre in November, data from the RAC Fuel Watch shows that the reduction on the country's four courts should have been at least twice that. Didn't happen. 
According to the RAC, unleaded came down from 165 to 159, while diesel dropped from 190 to 183, saving motors £3 a tank. It now costs uh, £91 to fill up a 55 uh, litre family car uh, and 101 uh, for a diesel, similar diesel. The reason the RAC believes drivers have lost out is due to wholesale prices um, of petrol plummeting by 11 pence in November from 122 to 111 uh, um, on top of a significant redu reduction in, in uh, October. And they still have been coming on down in December and, and, you know, we're not really getting this passed on. <laughs> we're getting a bit of it. Diesel decreased by more than uh, even more last month, coming down fifteen pence from one four three to one two eight, taking an average of household prices for last week November. Well, this is a wee bit out of date, twenty one to twenty five. The RIC believes petrol should really be an, at an average of one four six, and diesel one six nine. Now our prices are, are lower than that, but they probably should have come down even more in uh, December. This is at Belfast prices, by the way. It hasn't widespread throughout the country. 14 and 15 pence lower than current averages. Consequently, the RAC believes retailers are now collectively enjoying margins of more than 20 pence per litre, a figure that drivers will truly find shocking as they struggle to put fuel in their cars to go about their daily lives. The, the, these petrol retailers uh, couldn't give a monkeys, and the government does couldn't give a monkeys either because they're getting the uh, the tax. Mister Williams said it's bordering on a scandal that drivers are being overcharged so much because of the four big supermarkets which dominate UK fuel retailing, and they are flatly reducing, uh, failing to reduce uh, or refusing to reduce reduce their prices by big amounts. Their prices are dropping like a feather when they should be uh, dropping like a stone. In 10 years of closely monitoring fuel prices, we have never seen uh, major retail margins this high for this long. It used to be the case before the pandemic that we'd see wholesale prices drop by four pence per litre, and then the supermarkets would be vying with each other to announce a price cut to drive customers to their stores. This sadly seems to be a thing of the past, as nowadays they appear to be hanging on to massive margins for dear life. So that was uh, an article in, uh, I think it was uh, The Express quite recently, and it was on Google.